We're back with NBA 2K23 updates in Chicago. Tico, we're going to talk about patch 6. Now, we're going to kick this thing off talking about new gen, and then we're going to move over to the current gen console in the same video. The first thing I want to go over right here from the patch notes, they talk about the preparation for 2K23 Season 6. The second bullet point here, guys, is the RM Stripe. Now, we're going to talk about the jerseys that were updated in the game because there were jerseys updated in NBA 2K23, and that's in both gens, guys. The first jersey I want to go ahead and go over and give you guys is the New York Knicks. Let me go to the Knicks. As you can see, Julius Randall has that number 19, the stripe on his right shoulder, which means in the patch notes it says the Knicks, the 19 stripe to honor Willis Reed has been added to the New York Knicks uniform. So Willis Reed, he recently passed away. RIP Willis Reed. 2K added that to give you that authenticity with the stripe for your game. It's only in the new gen version though. It is not in the current gen or older gen version of 2K23. It may come over a server update within the coming days. So we're gonna go ahead and keep an eye out for that. And I'll be back with an update to let you guys know that. that was the first jersey that was updated. The second jersey that was updated was the Los Angeles Lakers alternate statement jersey. As far as the number around that six, the number was corrected, which in the patch notes says the number color on the Los Angeles Lakers alternate uniforms has been corrected. So it has been fixed. It's been corrected. I know the community did talk about that, how it was wrong. And everybody left a comment on the channel in the comment section talking about how the jerseys were not right. I am a Lakers fan, so, you know, I knew, but I knew at some point 2K would probably get to it. And this is fixed in both. So if you go to current gen, it's fixed. If you go to new gen, is fixed so for people who play on both gens it's officially fixed and last but not least, we have the San Antonio Spurs with the red stripe. That red stripe was added via patch six. On the patch notes, it says the RM stripe to honor former owner Rick McCombs has been added to the San Antonio Spurs uniform. So for Spurs fans out there, if you see this on TV or the league pass, or if you're just watching the Spurs play every night, if you're a Spurs fan, 2K literally added in for realism. And as you can see, it's a red stripe and it has the initials. Now I'll go into the editor player or creative player option where you can see them up close on the player and the jersey. So with that being said, those are all the jerseys. Now let's go look at the close-up look of them. Now, I wanted to come back and give you guys another look at the jerseys and how they were updated. You see on the right side, that stripe, that number 19 for Willis Reed is there with the up-close look and Siggy's in the editor player. So look, you see it right here. It's there. It looks good. The actual patch looks good too. And it matches the textures in the game when it comes to the technology, how it matches jerseys, man. 2K did a good job updating that. I know we wanted a little bit more because this, this patch really wasn't a huge update patch, but I mean, I guess they're trying to get every little subtle detail together for the playoffs. And remember, as seasons and seasons go, we get patches every month until a new 2K comes out. In this illustration, I'll be using Jeremy Sohan. You had the red McCombs patch that's red with the white logo. As you can see, it's on his shoulder. It's on the right side. The patch has been updated. This is the close-up of it. I wanted to be fair and give you guys a close-up so you can see it in detail. Then it looks good too. And you can see the details inside of that patch, that red patch. It looks good. The ribbon, whatever you want to call it, bruh. With that being said, let's go to the next subtle part of updates. Kobe Simmons actually has a scan in the game. And as you can see, his scan is here. His character is here and he was added on the two way to the Hornets. The current gen version, the older gen version matches this version. So it's the same exact scan. The technology just looks a little bit better when it comes to NBA 2K23 on the new gen. Well, it actually looks a lot better because you could do a little bit more, a lot more. Let's go ahead and go to the next player. So we have Anthony Davis that was updated with the dynamic hair update, says the patch notes. And as you can see, if you spin Anthony Davis in circles and you see his twist, which is one of his current looks, his twists actually move a lot better. This looks just like it. But yeah, Anthony Davis looks amazing. It looks great. The hair technology is really upgrading and it's coming along good from the art team standpoint and technology standpoint. So this is looking great. Now, what I want to do is show you guys another hairstyle that moves a lot more than the one that we just seen, which is a twist. Now we have a older version of AD with the braids. Now these braids are moving a lot more than they used to. These braids didn't used to move this much and this good. So I know there was a subtle update when it comes to his twist and his braids and how these things actually move. Another player in the patch notes that was updated was your boy, Bo Bo. Now, Bo Bo has a dynamic hair update as well. Bo Bo's braids are a little bit longer. His hang time is coming a lot longer and it's coming lower under his ears. So it's just a lot better. The braids do look better. Everything looks a bit cleaned up on the graphical side. The braids do move too as well. So one way to find out if the dynamic hair updates really, really work is when you go all the way down to signature tab. Now you can go up and down and you can see the braids move left and right. So I'm just gonna scroll up and down and that really proves to you that the braids have been updated by the 2k art team 
So we have Aaron Gordon with a dynamic hair update as well. And if you look at his, with his twists or locks or whatever you want to call them, he got these in the middle, maybe like three or four patches ago. We got this update close to before Christmas. But if you look at them as I spin him in circles, they move a lot more freely. The technology looks a lot better than what it used to look before. And it's just moving. It looks natural and fluid when you spin them in circles. As you're getting that gameplay in and then, you know, playing the game and running or dribbling, doing what you got to do, running, jumping, etc. You'll see his hair moving now. But yeah, AG's updated. He was updated in patch six. Let's go to the next player. And last but not least, the last player that was updated with a dynamic hair update and touch-ups was Precious Achul. If you look at Precious's hair and his twist with the headband, it's moving, it's like really easy. But one thing I do notice is that Precious's head is like kind of clipping through as you spin him in circles. He clips through with his forehead to the headband, but I mean, I'm pretty sure they'll have a fix for that as well. They always pretty much fix everything that clips in the new gen version, especially the new gen version. Precious is updated. And let's go to accessories and look at Precious's hairstyles and see if all of them move and do they move fluently. Look at this one right here, going left, going right. The ponytail for his braids or whatever they are, locks, etc. They move perfect. Let's go to style two, which with a cloth headband, they move good. Let's go to style one without a headband. They move good. Presses of Chua was updated, and those are all your player likeness updates for pack six for 2K new gen. Okay, so we're on NBA 2K23 current gen, and they did get a patch as well. Current gen players got a patch. So both gens got the patch for 6.0. The San Antonio Spurs with that, the REM, the Red McCombs, the stripe, it's there. You see it right here? It's right here on the jersey, just like new gen. I've showed it to you up close. I just want to go ahead and reference and confirm that this is here in the current gen version. So those are the two jerseys. The Knicks jersey did not get it. No 19 stripe on Julius Randle's right side for his shoulder. The Cosmic Unity 2 was missing. Yes, it was missing. It was invisible, but now it is back in NBA 2K23 current gens. If you want to equip these into your My NBA on your favorite player, your WNBA season, or whatever you want to do, you can do it. The Cosmic Unity 2 is back and it is fixed and it is ready to equip on your player. That was fixed. Let's get to the next shoe. Another invisible shoe that was gone was the Anta UFO 4. Via patch 6.0 fixed the Anta UFO 4, where that shoe is actually showing up and it's available right now to equip and edit and make your custom shoe in 2K23 for the current gen players out there. So with that being said, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you like these updates and they're worth your time and you feel like this stuff is good enough for you, subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button if you want me to be more consistent and drop these on the dime and hit that like button if you like this period and you just want to see more in general.